Welcome to your midday sports. We begin with cricket. The Jamaica Tarawas will play the Ghana wickets each for Terence Hines and Afghanistan's Wakar Salamkeel. In reply, the Knight Riders, led by an unbeaten half century from Jamaica's Chadwick Walton, coasted to victory at 167 for three of 18.1 overs. Walton, who opened the inning, smashed 80 of 57 balls. Nicholas Poran also chipped in with 33, while Captain Kyron Pollard made 23 as the TNT franchise sealed their place in Sunday's final. They await the winner of the match between the Talawas and the Amazon Warriors, which bowls off at 6 p.m. on Friday at the Providence Stadium. Jamaica's Harborview FC played to a one-all draw with host uh, Atletico Pantoja in Group B action of the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup on Wednesday night in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Omar Thompson gave Harborview the lead as early as minute number five. However, Captain Robert Rosado equalized for Atletico Pantoja from the penalty spot that came in the 59th minute for them to earn a share of the points. Despite the draw, Harborview moved atop the standings with four points after two matches, while Atletico Pantoja played to their third consecutive draw. The Stars of the East had clipped Dunby Holden 1-0 in their first match. Meanwhile, Dunby Holden, who are hunting a victory, will square off with Robin Hood of Suriname today at Sabina Park. Dunby Holden are bottom of the table with a point from two matches, while Robin Hood are second with three points from their lone game so far. This match kicks off at 7.06 p.m. Reggae Girls captain Khadija Bonishaw says the team is ready and rearing to go for their all-important Olympic qualifying first leg match against Canada at the National Stadium on Friday. The Reggae Girls are aiming to secure direct qualification to the Olympic Games in Paris next year with the two-legged affair against the defending Olympic champions. The Jamaicans made a historic run to the second-order round of 16 at this year's World Cup, and Shaw says the players are looking forward to making more history, starting with Friday's opening leg. As a team, we're buzzing, we're excited, we're ready, we're ready to go. Um, I think back off the performances that we gave at the World Cup, I think we just have to you know, finish in, put on the finishing touches and look back on where we can improve and grow and be better as a team. And I think once we do that, stay compact and, you know, do all the right things that, you know, the coaching staff wants us to, to do, we can only give off our best and hopefully our best is good enough. The second leg is set for September 26 at the BMO Field in Toronto, Canada. And that brings an, well, let's tell you that three matches are scheduled in the ISA Schoolboy Football Competitions today. In the Urban Area Mining Cup, Group D leaders and former champion St. Andrew Technical will oppose Tarrant High at Boys Town. And over in the Dacosta Cup, there are matches in Zones K and N. In Zone K, Yalas welcome Paul Bogle High, while Happy Grove away Titchfield High. All matches will kick off at 3.30. And that's it for your midday sports report. O'Shane, it's back to you. Thanks, Spencer. And that's it for the Midday News. I'm Machine Masters, join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.